A lot of times when you are running a company, you'll be working hard towards marketing or sales or just growth. But sometimes we don't know if we're growing in the right direction. For example, I like to think of some companies as a rudderless ship. They're rowing and they're rowing, but they are going this way, full steam ahead, when in reality, they should be going this way. Traction is a book about how to develop your own rudder for your company. It teaches you how to use what you already know and put it in place so that you can guide your company into the right direction. In today's five minute book review, we're gonna be talking about Traction, a book that has had a profound impact on my company. And at the end, you're gonna understand why these pieces of paper are so important to me. Let's get started. So Traction is a book by an author called Gino Wickman. And Gino Wickman has written a handful of books, but he's most famously known for his EOS operating system. So the entrepreneur's operating system. And what it is, I have an example of it right here. It's basically this. I read this book to figure out how to do these. If you're like me and you have a business, a lot of the times you can end up with a rudderless ship. You can end up you know, working towards marketing efforts and working towards building your team and your processes and everything else out. But you might be going in the wrong direction. You might be going plowing full steam ahead this way when you actually need to be going this way to reach your goals. What Gino teaches is an operating system, a framework for making sure that your rudder points your business in the right direction. But in order to figure out what direction you need to go, you have to ask yourself a bunch of questions and really do some digging and figuring out who you are, what your vision is, where you're going, how you're gonna get there, etc. So let's talk about some of the things you're gonna learn in Traction and why they were so important to me, a rudderless company that needed some direction. So one of the first things that they talk about in the book is how to come up with like your core values and your vision. You'll see this is the EOS worksheet, by the way, and I understand that it's reversed, but I'm gonna put it up on the screen for you so you can see it as well. And so the first thing that they talk about is the vision. Within that vision, you have a couple different subjects that he teaches you about. How to determine your core values, how to determine your core focus, what your 10 year target is, and your marketing strategy. Like who your demographic is, what are your uniques about your company. So this book will teach you how to figure that stuff out so that you can put it down on paper. Then it will also teach you how to come up with your three year picture and your 10 year picture. It will also teach you how to come up with your three year picture and your one year picture. The reason I bring this up is because it's very, very important to start with the end in mind. We start with the end in mind and then we work backwards to try and figure out how to get to that end point. For example, I know that in our three year picture that I want to earn $10 million in revenue with our company Scorch Marker. So I needed to break that down and they ask you to give you a future date. Um, they ask for a profit percentage and how you're gonna measure it. And so I know that if I wanna sell $10 million in, in revenue at a 25% profit ratio, I need to sell a million Scorch Markers. And in order to sell a million Scorch Markers, I need to sell this many of each on each of these channels. And it really helped us break it down and then translate that information into goals, which is the most important part of this book, in my opinion, is the word rock. A rock is another name for a goal, but basically they teach you how to take the information from your 10, three and one year vision and turn it into quarterly goals that each person can be accountable for. How to have metrics so that you can track those goals numerically and see if you're hitting them. The last thing that they talk about in this book is they teach you how to have effective meetings and work together better as a team. They teach you how to put the right employee in the right seat. They teach you how to have better meetings. They teach you how to stay on track. They teach you how to roll out these plans with your leadership team or with your employees and common pitfalls that people experience and how to overcome them. Overall, I think Traction was a really influential book and being able to read the book and grab this worksheet and implement it right away and just start making changes right away and to help clarify our vision and where we're going, like it's super valuable. So this is one of definitely goes in the top 10 list in terms of usefulness and value as far as books go. But if you're looking for something to help you decide which direction to go with your company and, and how to get there, Traction is the book for you. Definitely check it out. And if you are going to read it, I suggest maybe listening to it. Listening to the book allows you to do things with your hands while your mind is occupied with the audiobook. Plus, you can speed it up and put it on like 1.3 and it goes way faster. I hope you get some value out of this book. If you're looking for it, I'll link everything down below. 
Keep educating, be good to future you.